Hey everyone, I'm Lyo Convoy, and today we're going over the Bring Art Tifa Lockhart figure. This figure is based on the original game artwork. Now, I've never played Final Fantasy VII, nor would I say I'm a fan of the series. I am, however, a fan of pretty ladies, so here we are. Art! The sculpting on her is accurate to the vintage game art, and the paint details are also accurate, as well as very clean. Especially in the face details. Very nice. Can't do stop motion on this one because she'll drive me nuts due to something I'll cover later on. Her head moves 360 and can look down this far. She can move her arms out this far as well as rotate 360 at the shoulders. The shoulder is on a ball joint so it can move up and down this far. Her elbows bend at 90 degrees and rotate 360. The wrists rotate 360 with a universal pivot. She has an undercut that rotates 360. Her waist is on a ball joint so she can wiggle about and roll 360. Her legs can do a full spread, but it'll cause her torso to pop off. Her thighs rotate this much. Her knees are double jointed and bend this much. She has a slight ankle pivot and a toe bend. She comes with a pair of fists, a pair of open hands, and a left gripping hand. She also comes with two face plates, a smiling one and a serious one. Her final accessory is a stand. Dang blasted! What's going on? While she's good at representation visually of the character, she has a major flaw in design. You can't do anything with her legs without the figure exploding. This is due to how the skirt is designed. Instead of having plastic that hangs over her, this skirt is wedged between the crotch and the body. So the moment it moves, it pops the torso off the ball joint. This is a major design flaw, and I'm severely disappointed with it, especially considering how long it took to produce this figure. But there's a much bigger issue that I'm about to bring up in... So what are my final thoughts? Well, I think I need to bring up the biggest issue here to get into that. Now, clever viewers could probably tell Tifa's height here by comparing her to the background seen in my daily shorts. But to those that haven't, let's make this more obvious. Here she is with a figure arts, a Figma figure, and a Marvel Legends. To be clear, It's becoming increasingly obvious. I can deny it no longer! I am small. In fact, she's barely taller than my playmate's Darkwing Duck from the 90s. This wouldn't be so bad if she was $35 like a figure arts you can find in Target or Walmart, though the lack of accessories would still be an issue. But nope. She's $130. A tiny figure with a few accessories for that much is ludicrous. And the reissue of her is $10 less. For some reason. If you want to wait a year. To put that price in perspective, people spend $30 for a Marvel Legends that comes with the same amount of accessories or more. As far as the size goes, here she is compared to Storm Collectibles' Yujiro Hanma, who was $30 less and came with more on top of how much bigger he is. The brand itself isn't an excuse either because here she is with the Play Arts Kai version of Tifa from the remake, which is done by exactly the same company. There's definitely an issue here. I truly don't understand why she's so expensive when she's just not worth it. I cannot honestly recommend her. She's cute, she's pretty, but she's expensive. Truly, a high-maintenance woman. I wish she was better because then I could fully recommend her. But as she is now, I can't. If you still want to get her though, Feel free to use the link in the description. But more importantly, tell me what you guys think of this figure in the comments below. If you like my content, feel free to support me via Patreon or through channel memberships, linked in the description. Or you can join my Discord community. Until next time, take care.